For the vanilla ice cream, I have six eggs that I'm going to make, uh, get the yolks from, three-fourths cups of sugar, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, one cup of heavy cream, and a half a cup of milk. Okay, to crack the eggs, uh, you want to get the yolks. Okay, so you can do this several ways. You could crack it into your hand. Just make sure that you work gently with it. Okay, place it into the bowl. Do it this way. The other way is to crack it and then just kind of go back and forth. I like to do it this way. Another way you might be successful is cracking it inside, just like this, and then you can retrieve the egg yolk. Okay, that would be the other way you can do it. Make sure you get no yolk or white into the egg yolk. Okay, the next step is to add the sugar to the egg yolks. And then mix it up really good. Make sure you get everything combined. Add your milk and heavy cream to a sauce pot along with your vanilla. You could also add your vanilla to the egg yolk mixture as well. Either one will do. Just give it a quick mix. Okay, then you're going to place it on a stove and you're going to bring it up to a temper. So a temper is just when you start, okay, to, see you start to see those little bubbles. Just like that. See that? Turn it off. Then you're going to add it into Then you're going to add it into your egg mixture, but before you do that, give it a quick little stir. You're going to slowly add it in, okay? So again, this is at a temper. You're going to slowly add this in, okay? Very slowly. You don't want to do it too fast, otherwise you'll have scrambled eggs. Have someone assist you with holding the bowl. very slow and this is actually called tempering okay that's it just go slow Okay, once you do that, you're going to go right back onto the stove and then you're going to slowly bring it up again. Okay, do not let it boil. Right back on. This is where your, your rubber spatula comes in. Again, do it slowly. Stir, stay over it, do not leave it. Lower your temp. Okay, all you're doing is slowly bringing it up. Again, don't let it come to a boil. All you want is just to slowly bring it up. You want to check your sides. Make sure that it's not uh, scrambling. So just slowly bring it up on low heat. So you want to do this for roughly about two to three minutes. Again, make sure you get your sides. Okay, you want it to have a nice little, it's going to get a little bit thicker, but you got to do it slowly. And this is what you would also call creme anglaise. This is what you would get vanilla sauce from. Okay, and this is our vanilla base. So at this point, I can add anything to this. I can add chocolate, I can add pecans anything I wanted. Okay, so slowly bring it up. I constantly stir. 
do not let it boil it'll actually get thicker okay but you got to do it really slow I'm going to lower the flag a little bit if you start to see a bubble remove it okay this is about where we want it right here okay Right back on. As you can see, it's starting to get thicker. Okay, so again, this is where you want. You want that nice consistency. Okay, then once you do that, then you're going to place it into a container. Now, what you guys are going to do, you're going to have to go really fast. So we want to get that into a cold container with ice so we can cool it down really fast because we want to get it into the ice cream maker immediately this is what we're looking for a nice thick texture as you can see it's kind of gotten thickened and basically you should be able to coat the spoon just like that you see that okay you what you're looking for you want to place it into a pan that you've had in a freezer okay and then uh, remove it, place it in there, give it a quick stir, and then go back into the refrigerator for 10 minutes or so. For the pie crust, in a bowl I have two cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of sugar. Uh, there's six tablespoons of cold or chilled butter, six tablespoons of shortening, and then you'll need six to eight tablespoons of ice water. Okay, you want to make sure that you mix up your flour really good, your flour, your sugar, and your salt. Break it down. You can add your shortening in there. Again, just kind of break it down with the fork. Make sure you distribute it evenly. Okay, you can also use your hands if you'd like. Break it all down. Just get that in. Then with your batter, um, you can grate it or you can dice it into small little chunks. Okay. As you grate it, kind of mix it in. Okay. Do a little more. Again, make sure it's chilled. You could also use some flour to kind of uh, insulate your hands. And then you still need to keep mixing as you put it in. Just like that. Okay, here you have to do, make sure that everything is cold. You're going to add that ice water. You got to work with this really fast. Okay, then you're going to add your water in. Just enough so that it comes together. And this is what you're looking for. Okay, at this point you can use your hands. Again, now remember this should be cold. You don't want any of that butter. So work with it in your bowl until it comes together. This is what you're looking for, enough that it comes together here. Grab the one from the bottom. Then you're going to have to refrigerate this, okay? Just for a little bit, maybe 10 minutes or so, just to get it back cold again. And then don't overwork it. Okay, so that's it right here. Get it onto your bowl. Flatten it into a disc so it'll cool a lot faster. So if you can, let's try to keep it um, cold. And then you might want to refrigerate it for 10 minutes if time permits. Okay, if not, then we'll have to go right into the pie pan. Now while someone's doing the dough, somebody could be doing the apples as well. You want to get this into the oven as soon as possible. For the apple pie filling, I have 
one cup of sugar, two tablespoons of flour, half a tea, a teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of salt in a bowl. Then I also have one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, um, a tablespoon of lemon juice, which is roughly about a half a lemon, squeezed, and then five Granny Smith apples. Okay, the first thing you want to do is just make sure you get all the uh, dry ingredients combined, okay? The next step you're going to do is you're going to actually cut your apples and add them into this mixture as you cut. Do not add any of the wet ingredients until after the apples are all in there. So just get everything combined. Then you're going to peel your apple with your peeler. Again, just go around, just like this. It's okay if you leave any green on it. It's fine if you leave some green. Okay. Then you're going to with your knuckle sticking out, that's going to be your guideline to the core. So in other words, I'll cut straight down, turn it, just like that. Okay. Then you're going to slice it. So again, peel, again you can leave green on there, it's quite alright, you just want to get most of the, the peeling, and then again with your knuckle, that's your guideline. Slice them as even as you can. The thicker they are, the longer it's going to take in the oven. So you might want to go thinner. And then add them into your bowl. The last apple. Okay, and the last apple you're going to shred on a uh, cheese grater. So you do want to peel it. Okay. Again, cut the uh, stem. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to shred it with the cheese grater. And then what you're going to do is you're going to squeeze out the excess juice out of the apple and use, squeeze as much as you can out of it. Then you're going to add it into your apple filling mixture. Make sure you stir it up really good. Make sure it gets all distributed evenly. Then finally you're going to add your apple cider vinegar, a squeeze of your lemon. Okay. Again you can do it this way so no seeds get in there. Stir it up. So by shredding it you're actually um, Apple has pectin, which is a natural thickener, so this will help to bind the uh, pie together. But again, make sure you 
Mix it up thoroughly. If you have to use your hands, use your hands. That's what it should look like. Okay, for your pie dough, you want to basically uh, use two thirds of it for your top. I mean, two thirds for your bottom, and then one third for your top. So, again, uh, just form it into a ball. Just like this. Now what you guys can do also is you can use a, for your table being a um, metal table you can actually use a little pan with ice in it so it'll keep your table cold. Remember the one quarter turn again quarter turn just like the tortillas if it starts to stick more flour. Again, this should be cold. If it starts to get a little bit uh, cooler, you'll add your little pan. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so if your uh, table starts, if your uh, dough gets a little warm or starts to get warmed, you can just, on your metal table, you can put a little 200 pound with ice. And what this will do is it'll chill your table just to keep your dough colder, okay? So this is a really good method. And then you can also use this for when you make your ice cream, when you put your pan inside to kind of ice it down, to cool it down, you can also use this for that as well, okay? So we're just gonna roll this out. Again, here's your pie pan. You want it to be roughly sticking out slightly. If it sticks, then you can start to add flour. And this is going to probably do it here. So what I like to do is I'll actually fold it in half, fold it again, put it into your pie pan right to the center, flip it, work it in. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. So I got my pie. Here's the filling. Okay, we're going to place it in. Get it all in there. Again, make sure it's thoroughly mixed. Bring out your ends. Make sure that's even down. Don't press it down. You want it to breathe when you place it in the oven. So don't go pressing it. Then we're going to add the top to it. like so, and then you want to crimp the edges, okay? So pick them up, pick up the edges, make sure you crimp them, just kind of actually place them together so that they come out. Just like this, okay? Once you've done that, you can begin to shape it. Okay, so several ways you can do this. But what I like to do is I'll just use a knife to cut any excess edges off. So any excess that I have, like right in here, I'll do and cut it. Then what you want to do is you want to place your, you can do it this way with your finger. Okay, see that? Like that. Just like that, all the way around. And there you have your pie and then you definitely want to make a hole in the center. 
Okay, then a couple of slices so it to breathe. Just cut through it. If you want to put egg wash, you can put egg wash. Okay, the final step is, and probably one of the most important is to, you'll need to wrap it in foil, okay, just to keep the edges from burning. So, get your foil, and you'll probably, you'll have a larger piece that, grab two pieces, just like this. Place that on there, cover it, be gentle with it, you almost want to tent it, you don't want to completely, okay, just enough where it's covered, then you're going to cut off the edges around. Okay, it's okay if it's loose. Okay, you just want to make sure that the edges, because they, they uh, will burn your ends. Okay. Like that. Again, you don't want to push it back a little. Just enough so that it covers the edges. Okay, and like I said, you can also put uh, egg wash in there. Then you're going to place it in a 400 degree oven for 45 to Okay, then you're going to get your ice cream maker. It's going to actually be in the freezer. And you'll go ahead and depending on which mixer you have, Basically what you're going to do is clip it on, you'll put uh, the little clip here on, okay, just like so. Let's put this down, I believe this needs to be, and you're going to place your ice cream and then raise it up so that it stays on, okay just like that. So let it go for at least a half an hour. Remove the pie from the oven and let cool overnight. Okay, ice cream is done. And you got, if you want to reheat it, you can reheat it. Place your ice cream on there. And there you go. Apple pie a la mode.